Silence. Thank you. And Sanya, if we can hear from you. Hello, guys. 
Um, so last year, I saw a documentary on sustainability and sustainable fashion. Um, it's called The True Cost. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. But that really educated me about sustainable fashion and fast fashion and how these brands have been constantly putting pressure on us as consumers to be on top of our games uh, with buying clothes like and introducing new designs and clothing every week. Uh, so that's how I got like my bit of information about sustainable fashion. And uh, since then, I've been trying to really switch to sustainability and like avoid fast fashion brands like Forever 21 and all these fancy brands that they keep coming up with new fashion. But I think it's a sign that I got to tie up with these wonderful people this year. It's definitely my resolution of the year to switch to sustainability. These clothes are made out of used PET bottle. Can you really imagine these beautiful looking athleisure clothes? You can wear them to your gym and look cool as hell. And these are designed by such an amazing designer. Um, and they're not very expensive, which is great. And usually when you buy sustainable uh, clothing, it's, it's an investment in itself. But these are not, these are quite, uh, they are made for the masses. And I think it's high time for sustainable fashion is the need of the art, I think we all should should uh, switch to it. And uh, for education, I think you can watch the documentary. It's on Netflix. <laughs> but uh, I'm so glad and I feel really happy that I uh, got to work with such amazing people, Arilan and uh, Nadi, Alsis. I feel really fortunate. I think it's it's a sign. This year should be my uh, sustainable yes. Sustainable action. Yeah, that you're but, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 other th the other thing about this is that, you know, I just read, I just read, I was telling Tanya earlier, I just read in Belgium, 40,000 kids, 12-year-old kids left their school, went out to the Minister of Environment's house in Belgium and protested against the ministry saying that they were not taking enough care of the environment and saving their world for the next generation. 12-year-old kids, you know, we are 40-year-old people and we don't do anything about it. It's going to hit us sooner than we think. <laughs> and if we don't do anything about it, and if it does not start at the grassroots level, it is never going to happen. We are yeah. doomed. <laughs> well, here's hoping to educating ourselves and yeah. moving into 2019 a little bit more sustainable, a little bit more healthy, and a little bit more fashionable. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. Uh